everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Today we are going to continue to tear apart the c 951 motor. Uh, it's been a project I started last year and uh, the engine block was cracked and I kind of searched around until I could find the cheapest motor. So now we're just going to dismantle uh, what's left of the engine we got and uh, just kind of show you guys what it's all about. In case you haven't seen the previous videos, uh, this is the c it's a 951 cc engine. Uh, the top half of the cylinder is off. Here's the bottom half of the cylinder. I am. It's got some corrosion in there, as you can see. I'm going to try to hone that out today. See if I can clean that up. But here's the hole in the engine block right there. It's a pretty common problem with these engines. There's a counterbalance shaft right here. Uh, obviously, your crankshaft goes across here. The bearing goes in the shaft, uh, wears out causes the um, crankcase to split, seizes your engine, and that's the end of that. Yeah, very expensive fix, obviously. Uh, counter shaft, even crankcase is the cheapest I've seen them on eBay. We're looking at 500 bucks, plus gasket kit, rebuild. I mean, at that point, you might as well just scrap the engine and uh, look for a new one. Sorry about the mess of my garage. My 57 Chevy working on project, my Indian motorcycle. Here's the engine I picked up. Uh, complete engine uh, apparently running we're going to uh, swap some parts over in it this winter and get it ready for the springtime so first thing we're going to do we're going to remove the pistons there's a snap ring on both sides and then there's obviously going to be a little shaft that goes in there and we're going to pull that out and then the pistons are just going to come off and there's going to be like uh, little bearings and stuff in there but I'm going to remove one just so that you can see so here we are, we got one piston out. It has been rebuilt before. I don't know if you could see, but it says SBT in there. It's a rebuild company that rebuilds Sea Dew engines. So this engine has definitely been rebuilt by them once before. Um, I don't know anything about them. I've heard some good things and bad things about them. But I'm going to show you how to remove the piston in case you are wondering. This is one way how I do it. I usually put a socket that's a little bit smaller than the pin itself. I put it in that and I clamp it on the side and I usually just compress it and slides that pin out. So both pistons are out now. I'm going to start to remove the back side. Um, remove the carburetors, the reeds. Work on the other side before I begin to take apart uh, the crankcase itself. But uh, a lot of these parts are probably going to salvage or sell, um, depending on the situation on um, the spring. But let's get to work. Just going to try to show you the inside of that cylinder. You can see the rust and corrosion in there. Going to use a honing stone there. I'm going to hone the cylinders out. We're going to see if we can clean them up, see if we can salvage the cylinder. Um, if not, it's good to get uh, re-sleeved. But we're going to check. I think it's salvageable, but we're going to find out in about five minutes. So now you can see the cylinders. All you basically want to do is take the glaze off of them. And um, now that the cylinders are honed, it does not mean we're ready to stick new pistons and rings. And one of the most important things is that since I know nothing about this engine that I'm taking apart, I don't know if the cylinder has been bored out, if it's a standard size or what. In order to determine what size piston rings I'm going to use, if I'm going to use the old pistons or get new pistons and rings, is that the cylinder, I'm going to have to bring home some special tools and measure the bore itself and cross-reference my measurements of the bore with what the factory settings are and then look what I can get uh, for new pistons and rings or oversized pistons if these cylinders are bored out, if that was the actual case. So moving along on the project. I got the Makuni carburetors off right here and I got these just pulled apart. I was going to separate them but they got a clamp on there and I don't want to separate them so I'm just going to pull this whole cover off as one. I'm going to remove the starter, uh, probably the end of the crankshaft because I'm going to have to swap this over to the new engine. But just giving you an update as I take parts apart, just let you guys see what is inside the Sea Dew 951 motor. So the magneto cover, I guess you want to call it, is off. Um, it gives you exposure to the flywheel here. Um, there's your Bendix for your starter there, 
and everything else is here and your magneto is here it's a little bit corroded or stated or whatever you want to call it but anyways on the outside I'll show you these lines coming through here to these ports here is your oil pump right here so as you throttle it um, you move this open and it allows more oil to get directly injected into your engine and how this has worked is on the um, crankshaft itself it's got this little plastic gear here and it's got a little hole and that goes inside of here I'll just try to do it there I mean sorry it goes inside here so as your engine spins this spins too and that's going to cause your oil pump to pump uh, relatively as fast as your engine is going so that's where we're going right here when I first opened this cover it would smell like ass in there because it's still a lot of moisture but that part's off I'm going to put it in the box with the rest of the parts for future use and take the starter off remove some other little parts and uh, that'll be it for this video for tonight so I'm going to show you an, an unethical way how to test the starter I got a battery charger and uh, my top here is just all stainless steel so I can just touch the bench see the sparks starter works uh, it's one easy way not really the smartest way but if you just want to test the starter just good to go. I could add that to my parts as well. Everything else I just got thrown in the box is the engine I'm taking out. Uh, hopefully over the next few weeks I'm going to start putting the new parts in that engine, get it ready for the springtime drop-in. And then along with that one and the players, uh, turbocharged one, I'm going to try to find a double wide trailer, put it on and um, try them both out and see what happens. This is where I'm leaving the engine for today. I just got to remove this end piece here going to put that on the new engine because it doesn't have it. The um, flywheel, uh, the Bendix is still stuck behind. I'm going to remove it. The um, crankcase at the bottom is all full of transmission oil because I originally thought it was seized uh, before I noticed the engine block was cracked and broken as you can see there. So that's going to be it for this video for today. I have some other things I want to get done tonight. So stay tuned for some more videos on this project. Um, I'm hoping to have the engine ready for drop in in the next couple weeks or so and then it'll be a few months uh, before springtime comes before I'm able to drop it into the sea dew and everything else. So uh, stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and thanks for watching.